funny. Uh, 355s um, always bring back a, a, a funny memory, or at least a, a memory of a, of a 355. Um, I was uh, friends with a, 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 a salesman at uh, Miller Motor Cars, and uh, his name was Werner Pfister. I mean, a lot of people in the New York area know Werner. He was an absolute gentleman and uh, someone who really was passionate about uh, about cars and Ferraris, and he had worked at, at Miller Motor Cars for for many years, and and just a just a great guy, and a, and a true enthusiast. And um, I hadn't bought a Ferrari yet, and I was uh, hanging out there all the time and checking out uh, what what uh, Miller Motor Cars had, and and um, had met Werner through through some friends, and and um, I was I stopped by the the dealership back in the in the mid 90s. And um, Werner was there, and he said, "Hey, have you have you driven one of these new Formula One transmissions yet?" And I said, "No." Uh, um, you know, and I said to myself, "Why? Well, how would I ever get a chance to drive a, you know, a, a brand new Ferrari?" And he says, "Well, you gotta you gotta try this thing out. It's 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 pretty cool." So he grabbed the keys to a brand new uh, 95 355 uh, uh, GTS, and um, it it had the Formula One transmission and. I had read all about it, and everybody who who uh, you know was reading car magazines knew all about it, and 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 was uh, fascinated by the fact that this was the first manual transmission for the street that you could actually you know with paddle shifters instead of a, a gear selector. So um, <clears throat> I went out in it, and and uh, Werner kind of took it around the block a little bit, and then and then got out and said, "Here, you you drive." And I said, "Wow, this is this is pretty cool." So I got in the car, and he showed me how to do it, and you know. To uh, and and that was the first one I've ever driven. So you know, with a Formula One transmission, it's two paddle click, and that puts it in neutral. And then the right paddle, you click once, and it goes, and the selector shows one, and off we went. And um, you know, he was showing me how it downshifts. You know, you go into a, you know, you're decelerating, and then you 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 basically hit the uh, the left paddle, and it would just boom boom, it would downshift and and match revs, and it was it was pretty neat. I mean, just the technology of it was so cool. And, and the acceleration of it, like, you know, going up the gears and every time you click the, the, the paddle on the right, it would, it would shift up. So it was, you know, a lot of fun, drove it. It was like, wow, thank you very much, Warner. That was, that was just fantastic. And, and uh, you know, I, I, um, I really, really had a great, great time driving that car on the, on the street to Greenwich. So fast forward 20, 30 years later, and I'm watching a YouTube video and someone's doing a video on the 355 F1 transmission and, and showing it off. Now, each subsequent generation of the F1 transmission has gotten better and better and better. Today, it's lightning fast. I don't even keep up with the tech or the specs on it, but in milliseconds, they would talk about shifts in milliseconds and how many you know milliseconds shorter the shifts can be on, on the modern ones. And I've you know driven something as new as a, as a you know, 48 Pisto, which is about as new as they get. And um, it, it, it was, is, is unbelievably fast. So when I was watching them talk about this 355 and uh, the guy on YouTube was saying, hey, you know, this is the first generation and he takes it out and you hear him driving it and it was like, you listen and it was like, and he clicked the button and it would go, and it was like, oh my God. The, the delay between first and second and second and third and a 355 F1 transmission seemed like the, an eternity compared to today. You know, I take a 355, the sound of it is like, whoo, boo, boo. I mean, it's just like insane because it's a double clutch, it's dual clutch. It, you know, the shifts, the next gear is already, you know, is, is, is just a quick snap of the clutch and it immediately engages. But because the first generation was basically a single clutch with with all the hydroelectric you know switching and solenoids and all that other stuff moving you know it took a little bit of time but i think what's funny is in my memory of driving this car for the first time with a formula one transmission was just mind-blowing and, and you had no reference to it so it, in my mind it was fast but like when you look back and you look at what technology is today the f1 transmission at 355 is interminably slow i mean it's just <laughs> It was, it was it's just funny it, it was uh it was uh, brought back some really nice memories when i saw the video and and our time at my time with werner and and uh brought back and 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 uh remembered a great day with uh, werner fister and and um, i kind of miss him he's he's you know passed away several years ago 
but uh, it was it was a nice memory to have of Werner and and, um, and the 355 F1 transmission. But uh, you know this car, you know again that's why I think the manuals are are so popular is because you know it it's still a, a, a shifter in which you know at this particular generation, you know it does what you want it to do because you're still in charge. Um, I think that the first generation was you know I give Ferrari kudos for putting it out there. But it still wasn't perfected. Today, yes, I, I don't think I could drive a 48 Pista as fast as that shifter can go. But I can certainly drive this 355 to its potential uh, with a manual. And I think that that's why the manuals are, are, are of this generation, you know, so popular because uh, they, they still, the, the, the Formula One transmissions on these cars of this particular generation still needed a little bit of, uh, you know, perfect, perfecting. And, and it certainly has shown to what Ferrari puts out today. But, uh, you know that's one of the reasons why these these formula the, the rather this the the manual shift uh 355s and of this generation in the mid 90s are so popular so um yeah uh like i said it's it's a it's a good memory and and uh you know every time i see a 355 that that memory comes up